So friends, welcome to Brain Amplifier. In the last session, we learned about the stator winding, and in this session, we learned about the rotor winding. Rotor winding, soft asynchronous alternator. So first, we'll see a few points uh, about the uh, rotor. My rotor is made of high strength alloy steel single forging. So what is forging now? Uh, in forging, I do not melt the metal. I just heat up the metal to a particular temperature, to very high temperature, to soften it. And what I'll do, I'll hammer it from all sides to put it into some specific shape. Suppose for rotor, I have to put uh, something into a cylindrical shape. This is my, suppose, metal. I'll heat it up to very high temperature. And I'll uh, try to uh, squeeze it from all sides to put it into that shape. Okay, that is called forging. Now, in the, generally in rotors, we use dovetail slots. What are dovetail slots? In the, this is one scheme of dovetail slots. Uh, what I'll, how uh, these slots will work? These will stop um, uh, the windings from getting out uh, while the rotor is spinning. If I am uh, taking a wound rotor, my rotor will be spinning at uh, 3000 RPM or maybe 1500 RPM for four pole uh, generator. So in that case, my windings um, will be facing very high centrifugal forces. To, so to stop the windings from getting out, what I'll do? Suppose I have inserted this part. This my this part is my windings. Okay, these are my windings. And what I'll do? I'll insert a wedge from upside. Okay, this is my wedge portion. I'll I'll insert a wedge from upside inside this these the, the slots above the windings, so that my windings do not get out. From the slots while spinning okay my coil is held against centrifugal forces by means of wedges and non-magnetic retaining ring now what are retaining rings we'll see further now friends in your theory classes you must have seen this shape which is used to show the rotor windings and this is a correct shape okay now we'll see how actually these rotors are wound okay now friends suppose uh, okay do not just see these lines just uh, see this core okay this is my front view of the rotor my rotor is cylindrical so it is going inside this paper okay and this is the front view uh, i have two bigger slots sorry two bigger uh, parts of core these will be used to make poles okay so uh, there are two bigger parts my means i am making a two pole rotor so what i'll do uh, for i have to take two connection out okay or uh, for DC supply because in synchronous alternator I give DC supply to rotor one more thing my rotor is not laminated is it is made of forging because there is no eddy current in the rotor okay so now what will I'll do I'll uh, put my DC supply through either slip rings uh, okay in uh, uh, either slip rings or maybe either CC boards current carrying boards uh, depends on what type of exciter I am using okay if you want to know about the exciters please comment below now I'll okay uh, how my windings will be work okay I'll start my winding from here suppose this is my slip ring or maybe a current carrying board my winding st will start from here okay my first I, I'll put my first winding into this slot okay I'm putting into this slot I'll take it back for all the way and from the back side I'll take it out from this slot okay I hope you understand I'll take it out from this slot. Uh, this uh, I'll uh, I'll keep. Uh, uh, let let's put it open, and my end portion of my first winding. Now I'll start my second winding from here, and my I'll put my second winding in this slot. Uh, take it back all the way and pull it out from this slot. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll brace the f beginning end of my second winding to the end portion of my first winding okay so what i'm actually doing i'm putting all these winding into series now what i'll do i'll put i'll put a third winding into this slot take it back all the way pull it out from this slot and what i'll do i'll uh, brace the end portion of my second winding to the starting po starting position of my third winding I hope you understand what I am doing. I am put. I have put my first winding into this slot. Take it back all the way, and imagine this is a single winding. Okay, I brace it from the initial point of the second slot, second winding. Take it all the way back. Pull it out. Uh, brace it with the initial point of the third winding. Take it all the way. Pull it out. Okay, I have pull it out here. Brace it with the starting point of the fourth winding. Take it all the way back, pull it out from here, 
braze it with another winding uh, insert it from here pull it out from here and in the end uh, I'll take another the, the final end I'll take it to my another slip ring or another CC bolt I'll put one positive supply or maybe negative so I'll put one positive supply to this slip ring or negative supply to this slip ring okay so like this I'll uh, insert my power so uh, what it is like it is going like this see follow my pan this then this then this then this if you see it from the top it will look like this if you see it from the top it will look like this suppose uh, I have inserted my winding from here first point, initial point is from here okay so it will look like this first slot okay the uh, first slot y you can see only half portion half portion is below this in the first slot end of first slot beginning of second slot end of second slot beginning of third slot and like this okay half portion above half portion below if you'll see it from the side it will look like this suppose I have in so this portion is called retaining ring see what I'll do in the retaining the retaining is used ring is used it is made of non magnetic material okay and this is used to make the connections that brazing part I'm doing it it will be done inside the retaining ring okay I'm taking suppose I am put pulling the first end of my first winding okay inside here uh, taking it back in the second slot this is the second slot taking it all the way back and the brazing part will be done here in the retaining ring okay and taking back third so similarly fourth and like the way so uh, ultimately it is similar to a ring okay what I'm doing I'm making this shape okay why I am using different conductors because uh, the size of the router is very large and it is very difficult to take one conductor and uh, uh, putting it in this shape so I'm taking different conductors for this I hope you understood the mining thank you so much